Again, now we're going to do the site plan. Before starting the site plan, you want to change the units of the drawing. So under A for AutoCAD, got your drawing utilities, units. So click on units. And you want to make sure that instead of degrees, you've got degrees, minutes, seconds chosen. And the precision is degrees, minutes, seconds. Make sure that clockwise is not ticked. Okay. And obviously you, units should be millimetres, not inches. Okay, now to draw the first line, just use the line command, that's right. It's 30 metres, so 3 o. I don't know. Okay. The next line is 10 metres long, um, and it's at 120 degrees to this line. If I were to draw oops, a line with ortho on 10 at an angle of 30, it'll be 90 plus 30 will give me my 120. Okay. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're going to rotate the UCS. These axes here um, are what's referred to as the UCS, Universal Coordinate System. We're going to rotate them about this point. So U C S is the command. The new origin will be this point. The X axis will be along this line. And the Y axis will be on this side. So you make sure your cursor is not up, up here. You want to make sure it's down here and click. Okay. Now we can start drawing the line. Oops. Click there. Yeah. So now we're going to start drawing the line. And the next line is 28. 190. So at this point, the line is 28,190. And the angle, a bit more complicated, it's 117 degrees, 37 apostrophe for the minutes, and 33, hold down shift, position mark for the seconds. Enter. And there's the line. So once I've established the next line, I can rotate the UCS again. So UCS. This will now be my origin. Anywhere along this line will be my X axis. And on this side, I'll have the Y axis. So I want to enter the axis, uh, the angle in a anti-clockwise direction. And it will be in relative to that X axis. Okay. And so on and so forth. To go back to the original UCS, just type in UCS. And you'll notice that world view is the default. Just again. And the axes return to their origin. Um, I, there's the origin, zero. But they will always appear in the corner of the screen. And that's the right orientation for them. For the dimension style, you need to be in world view to enter them. Um, so in the previous video, we looked at dimensions. I'm going to create a new one based on the current one, which is um, BP100. So I'll create a new one and I will call it BP200. And there are only a few things I want to change here. Under the tab primary units again change from degrees to degrees minutes seconds and the precision I think the default is zero but you want degrees minutes seconds and turn off any suppression because um, if you want the two zeros after the 10 meters um, it will um, suppress that so um, you want to change that the de decimal um, point for the meters to two decimal points and instead of comma which is period okay and then with the symbols and arrows instead of architectural tick you're going to choose close blank and the second one changes automatically don't worry about the leader it's fine um, arrow size is fine text height is fine and everything should, I'm sorry uh, the fit what we need to change. 
So embed, instead of being 1 to 100, you can change it to 1 to 200. Okay, and that should work. Right. So now when I put the angle in, it'll be between this line and this line. And there it is. Um, dim aligned for um, aligned dimension. No. Ah, that was one thing I forgot. Sorry. Uh, change my or modify my dimension style. And for the primary units, the measurement scale. So I'll actually. Oh gosh. No, can't move it. No. Okay. Um, I don't want it to be in millimetres, I want it to be in metres. So instead of a scale factor of 1, I'm going to do 0.001. So instead of that 10,000, it should now go down to 10 metres. OK. okay. Close. And there it is. OK. That's it. Um, if you have any further questions, please email me. And I'll be happy to answer any of them.